is in uh, previous video we have done uh, water cell delineation now i will show you about the hydrologic uh, response unit and the data preparation over there land use or the this data preparation part over here now in this section we don't have to do much uh, tax as we have already prepared land use file soil data already we have and this slope data it is just manually we have to do it over here and if you want to do a single slope or multiple slope that part i will come to it later on now i will want to add my raster file first of all as i haven't edited to my uh, this uh, js interface i will load it from my disk you can see it here i will going with that part of a soil don't worry sorry this is land use not a soil i have made a wrong file over here this is a actual file it will automatically clip my data now in what basis you want to provide a grid field is we have prepare a text file in a value count order so we have to put it that and we have to provide that uh, text file we have provided after that we have to do like this now we have done our part for this two or if you want to do it from this us just table to sorry sorry i have done it wrongly or you can simply use it this also if you don't uh, go through the sort database folder you can simply use this too okay now we are going to a soil data so for that too we are going to load it from our data set now we have already projected it so i am going to use that no problem now we have to provide a soil text file of our study area and you can see it we have already prepared it and if you don't know how to prepare as i have already said i have shown in my previous video go and watch that before running the sort model after that you can simply go to the slope and you can define your slope and i am going to add three slope class upper limit one class means i'm going to add five here is 20 and three years Five twenty and forty-five. I'm going to add in this like this way, then it will create a lower limit to upper limit as of our class needed. Now after that, you can simply classify your area. It will reclassify automatically by clicking this. 
now reclassify soil data to and land is data to okay now for this session i would like to end my part over here now in next video i will be dealing with that um, weather and other land use definition or other climatic variable so stick with us for that next part of the video for now i would like to end my video here thank you